Welcome. Today, let's make a Cartesian diver. Now, this is an activity that's great for chemists of all ages. You're just going to need a few things. A beaker or glass full of water, a recycled bottle, so a soda bottle, water bottle, seltzer bottle, something plastic is preferred, and a pitcher of water, as well as a plastic pipette, a pair of scissors, a permanent marker, and a hex nut. We don't really need the whole stem, so I'm going to make a cut up towards the top of the bulb, leaving just enough stem to be able to twist the hex nut on. Cut it there. And add the hex nut to the pipe pep bulb. And there you have your diver. Now you need to fill your diver up with just a little bit of water. That's where the beaker of water is going to come in. We're going to squeeze the pipette bulb to fill it with just enough water to get the top of the diver head to float just on the surface of the water. Sunk straight down to the bottom, so we got to make it a little adjustment there. Squeeze out some of that water and see if we can get that guy to bob at the top of the water. Perfect. Next up, we have to fill our recycled bottle with some water. So I'm going to fill this guy all the way up to the very top. Once your bottle's full, then you can go ahead and add your diver. Should bob right up to the top, and then you're going to place your cap on nice and tight. Once your diver's in there, then you can go ahead and give your bottle a squeeze. And what should happen is you should see the diver sink down to the bottom. <laughs> now the reason why this is happening is by the allowing that diver to float on the surface of the water, you allow there to be a little bit of an air pocket inside that diver. However, when you squeeze the bottle, the water from inside the bottle gets displaced into the diver, decreasing that air pocket, which actually increases the mass of water inside your diver. Since that mass of water increases inside that diver, the density of that diver increases, so it'll sink down to the bottom. When you release the bottle, now that water that was displaced into the diver gets displaced back into the bottle, that air pocket increases, and the density decreases, so it floats back up to the top. And you can do this as many times as you like. If you'd like to make your Cartesian diver a little more interesting, you could always add a drop or two of food coloring. Can I squeeze? So you can make as many different colored Cartesian divers as you'd like. For more chemistry concepts, continue to follow along.